Has your dryer door lost a little spring in its step? Maybe it's not closing like it used to? Well, it's not being lazy. It just might need some new springs. I'm Dustin with Parts Doctor, and today I'm gonna show you how easy it is to replace the springs on your Whirlpool dryer. This also applies to some other great Whirlpool manufacturer brands such as Kenmore, Amana, Maytag, and others. So let's spring to it. Show you how to do it. If you need to purchase a new door spring for your Whirlpool dryer, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com, where we offer fast shipping and only sell manufacturer-approved genuine replacement parts for all major appliance brands. The door springs on your appliance may become bent, damaged, or destroyed by daily wear and tear or from opening and closing of the dryer. The door on your appliance must close properly to ensure a tight seal, otherwise your dryer's performance will be greatly impacted. While both springs may need to be replaced on your dryer, springs are sold separately. Tools needed for this repair, Phillips screwdriver, putty knife, 5 16 nut driver or socket, and pliers. Since we'll be opening the cabinet of the dryer, it's important to remember to disconnect it from the power. You may want to wear long sleeves and gloves as the edge of the dryer panels can be extremely sharp. Locate the lint screen and pull it from the lint chute. Set it aside. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the two screws from the lint chute opening. Be careful not to let them fall down the lint screen chute. There are two clips roughly two inches from the edge of the dryer that hold the top panel in place. Using a putty knife, gently press the clip in to release the top panel of the dryer. While you are pressing on the clip, gently pull up on the top panel so you know when it's released. Once the top is free, the top panel of the dryer can safely be opened and secured. It is important that you do not flip the top all the way open as you can damage the wiring harness. The metal tabs holding the top panel are not designed or strong enough to hold the panel on their own. Prop the top panel against a wall or secure it with cord or twine. Take your putty knife and gently release the locking tab on the door switch wiring harness in the front corner of the cabinet to slide the two wiring sections apart. Once the top panel is secure, we can move on to removing the front panel. There are two 5 16 screws and two slide-in hooks holding the front panel on the cabinet. First, remove the two 5 16 fasteners with either a nut driver or socket and be sure not to lose the two retaining clips that hold the screws in place. Once both of the top screws are removed, tilt the top of the front panel 6 inches away from the cabinet and lift to free the panel from the two bottom clips. Now that the front panel is detached from the dryer, find a soft area to lay the panel down flat so the hinges and springs are facing up. Using the pliers, remove and discard the damaged spring from the hinge. If you need to purchase a new door spring, make sure you get a manufacturer certified replacement part like the ones that we sell on our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure that you're searching with the model number from the tag on your dryer to be sure you get the correct part. Using a pliers, Attach the springs to the hinges and the hole at the bottom of the panel, referencing their orientation as to when you remove them. Before the next step, make sure your two 5 16 screws and nut driver are within reach. To attach the front panel, use your foot to guide the bottom of the panel on to the two hooks at the bottom of the dryer cabinet.
While holding the front panel, carefully open the dryer door and reach in to align the dryer drum to fit over the front drum seal while you push the front panel back into place. To attach the front panel, be sure that the retention clips are in place and screw in the two 5 16th fasteners with your nut driver or socket. Firmly tighten both sides. Reconnect the door switch wiring harness and be sure that the locking clip snaps back into place. Check the top of the cabinet for any wires that could get pinched when closing the top panel. Slowly close the top panel and firmly snap both sides onto the clips. Replace the two screws near the lint chute. Again, be careful that they do not fall down into the chute. Finally, slide the lint screen into the lint chute opening. And that's it. You finished the repair, congratulations. If there's anything that you found along your journey, like some hints, tips, or tricks that could help the next DIY person, throw them down in the comments. We also love to hear your success stories. If you love saving money by fixing your appliances at home, consider giving this video a like and a subscription to the channel so you can see some more great content coming up soon. I'm Dustin with Parts Doctor, and until next time, we'll see you later. Thank you.